couple of friends who asked why I hate ESG so much. Mm. And uh, I just tell them, I was like, it's a fraud. Yeah. They they sell you this bill of goods like, oh, yeah, you're, you're doing better for the environment. You know, you're looking out and putting your money where your mouth is. You love the environment. You love taking care of people. Well, these are all the companies that have great ESG scores that take care of all those things. So you don't you want to invest in them? I'm like, I you, could care less. You mean the ESG score that's completely manipulated by places like BlackRock that make sure that you funnel your funds to all their buddies to make sure they look good on ESG? You're going to tell me that an elect, if we want to follow a full life cycle of an electric car, is that a good ESG score? No, but we'll cut out the pieces that don't look too good. And you can still funnel your money to these people. Like that's what ESG is. It's an absolute fraud scheme. Yeah, I could care less. For allow people who who already have a stranglehold on the economy as it is to have even like just an absolute chokehold on you. Yeah, it's like no, thank you. I have no interest. And the people that kind of come out and they're like, oh man, that's just like kind of narrow minded of you. And I'm like, Ugh. I just wish you knew or just paid attention what's going yeah, on. Yeah, just shut up. <laughs> like listen, listen. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you gotta have your opinion. I can have mine. I don't care. Because <laughs> like I've had a. It's like well, yeah, she's been around since like the. 60s i'm like yeah it came as an idea of philosophy in the 60s and people are starting to see big companies realizing oh this is the new religion of the day let's utilize it yeah this is a marketable social issue totally i mean i don't did you see the tiktok i posted at the esg like from us yeah yeah do you, did you see the subtitles no I, I i was cracking jokes in the subtitles dude oh wait i think there was one word that i said and you put a different word in i just i thought maybe TikTok automatically did that. No, no, I no. didn't pay much attention though. <laughs> oh, Phil, if you go, can you pull up our TikTok? Oh, just read these subtitles, dog. Urbans <laughs> of the world, the Air Canadas of the world, like big, big companies are now becoming more and more concerned about their ESG score. And so what they're doing is buying ESG offset certificates, which is effectively a lease or a contract of someone's wooded land that they promise to do nothing with to offset their carbon. If you own wooded lots or a substantial amount of wooded land, and you know someone who has a huge carbon footprint, you could lease that land to them on the condition that they do nothing with it and keep all the trees there to offset their carbon. You own the land, they offset their carbon, and you get paid for it. So anyways... I was Dude, I thought that was fire editing fire in a fire video, and it didn't even do good. Dude, I think I know why it didn't do well, but... Because we talked about ESG in a bad light. <laughs> no, I wish that was the reason. <laughs> it, it was... It was I didn't do great editing for it to get attention. Um, oh. That was on me. I thought it was great. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. But no, the... Um, so, yeah, I the subtitles I put in was like, you know... <laughs> to save you from your sins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you talk about, you know, a lease or a contract, I was like, to either your indulgences... Which your any, penances. Or, or your penances, <laughs> which anyone who knows the Catholic Church sold indulgences to people back in the day for, so they could get to heaven. Um, and that was my joke is that's the, the religion of today is environmental issues, yes. which these are real concerns. That's what makes you a good person. Exactly. Yeah. But these are things that are being capitalized on um, to make you do things in a certain society that people very much more powerful than I right. would like you to do. So that was the joke I was making. It's like, yeah, you can, I, that's how it felt. When it comes to your ESG score, I can buy wooded land, offset my ESG score to make it look better. Right. That literally sounds like an indulgence to right. me. Right. <laughs> like, oh, wow, I can buy this lease so that I have a good score in the eyes of the environment. Like, what? Uh, Makes no sense to me. I'm going to keep doing bad, and then I'm going to do this so it looks like I'm doing good. Exactly. <laughs> Cracked. <laughs> Correct. Anyways, sorry to interrupt this episode, but if you could all like, comment, and subscribe, it truly helps us out in the long run. We look at all the comments and the feedback, and it means the world to us. Thanks for watching.